We've been off for a couple weeks. Well, we haven't been off for a couple weeks. Well, we have. Technically, yeah. Yeah, we had to go back down to Arizona to find our land, which we found. Found, yay. Which we purchased. Yay. So our closing is going to be on the 7th of May, right? Yeah. 7th of May. So we got 40 acres. Um, stupid cord. That truck's rocking because of the wind. Rocking us all over the place. So we got 40 acres. Um, southeast Arizona. Yes. Let's just say that. About an hour from Benson. About an hour from Sierra Vista. South of 10 there. So yeah. So we got the 40 acres there. And we got a really good price on it. It's one of the pieces that we showed you guys last time we were down there. It's the one with the mountain on it. That's the one we ended up buying. Last time we was down there, it was like 40,000, like 37 or something like that. 37, 38,000. And the guy had dropped the price to 28. And then we offered him what, 20? Yeah. I think we offered 20. He countered at 25. And then we offered 22. And he accepted that with like a thousand more down. So we went ahead and did it. So we got it for 22,000. So we paid a little right around 500, a little over $500 an acre, which is really good. It's like 525 an acre. And right now land's going down there like 650 to 690 an acre. So we got a pretty good deal on it. Super so yeah, excited. yeah, I'll post some pictures as we're blabbing so you guys can see it. I did post one on the community page, but I don't know how many see that, so I'll post the pictures now. And we did get welcome to Arizona because we went down there at night to take a look at it, see what it looked like at night, and I pulled back out onto the highway and got up to about, what, about 50, and a deer came <laughs> running out of the ditch. And here's some pictures of that. <laughs> and smacked right into the corner of the truck. Yeah. <laughs> So it didn't do a lot of damage to the truck. No. Just mainly the fender. Um, headlight. And it busted the headlight, but it was still drivable. The headlight and everything still worked. It just cracked the lens. Um, yeah, and it screwed up our horn. Now our horn sounds like uh, an old 1930s 19th. horn. <laughs> yeah. So mainly just a fender, and we've already gotten that. We've already we took it to body shop the day we got back, yeah. which was last Thursday took it in it's like 2700 bucks so really wasn't that much yeah, it um, could have been worse if i would have been going a little slower and she would have she might have drugged down the side yeah. so the interesting thing about that was that um oh, oh man no lady in their little no. dog um interesting thing about that was down in douglas arizona which is only about 40 miles from where our property is at um they had an earthquake like it was like 3.8 or something like a half hour to an hour yeah. right before that deer ran out they had had an earthquake and people were talking about you know the animals were kind of freaking out and running so we're wondering if that ain't why she ran right out because yeah. she didn't hit the front of the truck she smashed into the side yeah. right into the front driver's fender so we're wondering if that ain't why because she was spooked from that and she was just bolting we don't know so anyway, yeah, earthquake. Here's the earthquake's pretty rare there. Anyway, I, it's kind of odd that it happened while we were there, but um, so yeah. Anyway, our land's out in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of the desert. It's 2.1 miles off of the highway, um, so we're quite a ways out from anything or anyone. So that's gonna be good. We've got a few. You pull off the highway onto this dirt road, and then you take another dirt road to another dirt road, and there's a few. Um, homesteadish kind of houses scattered along there but I think there's only like three or four and they're not like right on top of us they're just kind of back in that area which 
we wanted to be out in the middle of nowhere by ourselves, but then we started thinking more about it. And it's not really a bad thing to have, some to have somebody, you know, within a mile or so of you in case you would need something. So we kind of decided against just going out in the sticks by ourselves and kind of decided to have some people around us anyway. Well, and this land has really good roads too. And yeah, some of the it's other got really nice we roads. Went to, the roads were a little undesirable, so yeah. this one's better for everybody. Yeah, it's still a dirt road out in the desert, but this one, um, you could easily pass it in a car, in yeah. a small car. You yeah. could drive right down it, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, so yeah, and it's open range. So we do have some cow friends, <laughs> yeah. which I think I still have that video. And if I do, I'll put that over. We went there one night and there's about about 20 head of cattle out there, well, but there's a couple calves and the calves got the on the other guard. side of the cattle guard. The fence don't quite go up to the cattle guard. There's a gap about a foot. Well, these little calves decided they were going to sneak through there. So the whole herd was waiting for them yeah. to come back. <laughs> yeah, we literally turned off the highway to hit the dirt road and there's 20 cows standing there <laughs> because these two calves were on the other side. So the cows going to figure out how to get back across. The calves going to figure out how to get back to the other side. <laughs> so, yeah. So we kind of kind of got pinned there for a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah, so we got what fenced on two sides of the property. So we got to get a fence around the other two sides and that way we can keep the cows out because it's open range so they said on an open range it's up to you to keep the cows off your property if you don't <laughs> want them there so i think they're kind of cute but you don't really want them walking in front of my front door for <laughs> especially during the build process yeah so. <laughs> they might be eating our straw <laughs> yeah taking it and laying in it for bedding yeah so that's that on that that's that on the property like i said we'll close on the seventh we're looking at like maybe between january and march of next year before we move down we want to we want to have a certain amount of money before we go so we're thinking that's what that's going to take till then yeah so that's the time frame we'll be heading down there and start building and then on the other channel we have um we'll definitely have the building on there yeah. definitely have that yeah because um, we've got our septic septic guys going out this week but then when we get down there and we start building, I want I want to catch all that on video too. So that'd be kind of cool. We're yeah. building a straw bale house, which I know some of you are going to be like, what the heck? But you have to see it to understand it. But basically an adobe house is what we're going to be building yeah. with straw walls. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we'll catch all that for you guys too, if any of you are interested. And guess where we're getting to go today? Yeah. Back so, down to Arizona. <laughs> yeah. So we picked up this load at GPC there, Muscatine, grain processing, and we're taking it down to Tempe, Arizona, yep. which was kind of cool, because we got back on, what, Thursday last week, Thursday morning? Yeah, <laughs> now we get to drive back. <laughs> and then Patty sent us our dispatch on for today, on Friday, and it was Tempe, Arizona. It's like, ah, cool. <laughs> so we get to go exactly back the way we just came when we drove our car. Yeah. So... We didn't get much video down there. I don't think I got any video down there where I was there because it was just, we was really rushing to look at everything we wanted to look at. And well, then we, we was really busy with there. the realtor. And we were only down there like three or four days this time. Last time we were down there a full week. Yeah, but we seen this property the last time. And then when we seen it this time and we found out they had dropped the price almost 10 grand. We had to get it. We were kind of stuck on that property because we really wanted it the last time. But it was too high for that area it was too high yeah um so yeah we were kind of stuck on this the whole time because we got there on a friday we was out looking at land over the weekend then we met with the realtor on monday and we told her right then this is the one we want so we really didn't look at anything else we just kind of focused on um getting that guy an offer and then we kind of done the back and forth game with him for a little while i think we had three or four different offers back and forth yeah, three. something like that. Three, three different offers. So, because we sent him our offer, he countered, then we sent it back, and he accepted. So, yeah, accepted, but countered with a higher down. Yeah, which was fine. We had the down payment. The thing was, we didn't want to. We didn't want to empty our savings. Yeah, we wanted to keep some money with everything that's going on right now with the economy and all that. We wanted to keep some money in the savings. We didn't want to drain it. So we were trying to. We kind of lowballed him on the down to begin with 
and the rich and the asking price. But he kind of brought us up on the down. No, I so. don't think we lowballed him. Right? Yeah, because we hit him at twenty thousand. Almost half, though. I'm talking about the the offer, the first offer. Oh yeah. Because he had already dropped it like ten grand, and then we shot him down another seven. And yeah. He was like, no, no, no. Well, we knew he'd come back with a counter. Yeah, yeah. I was never going to give him what he wanted for it. So. So anyway, yeah. So we didn't do any recording down there because we kind of knew what we wanted when we got there. Yeah. Uh, the, well, we went and looked at that the first day we was there, or Saturday. No, the second Saturday, day we was there, yeah. we went and looked at it. And as soon as we saw the price, we knew that's what we wanted. So we had no yeah. point in looking at anything else. And for everybody wondering, we were safe. I mean, the only person we came in contact with was Our realtor. realtor. That's it. That was it. I mean, we didn't, yep. when we got food, we went to the drive through so... When we I got mean, food, we went to the drive-thru, we used um, DoorDash. And they literally brought your food, set it down in front of the door, knocked and ran away. Yeah, so. they left it right outside our hotel room door. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? I mean, we were literally in contact with nobody, so. Yeah. Yep. So it, it, went, it, it went really, really well. I mean, I'm so glad that land was there when we got there. Yeah. So yeah, that's it for Arizona. Yeah. Well, not really, because we're going back. <laughs> so yeah, um, the last few weeks nothing's really nothing's really changed. I mean, we've been back and forth to California. That's about all we've been running really is California. We've been doing those loads where we leave out Monday, we get there Tuesday afternoon, then we got to sit till Wednesday, which those suck because it's kind of a waste of our time. But this one will go good because we're gonna get there probably like 10:30, 11 o'clock tomorrow, and our appointment's at 1:30. So this will go over good. This one will be a well, better the one. the week before we took off, we went on Saturday. That way we'd have pretty much a full week. So we yeah. just literally did our 34 at home. And went and right back went out. went back out on Saturday for a Monday morning delivery in um, Ontario, yeah. California. But there, they were supposed to, they normally open at 4 o'clock in the morning. So I got there around two o'clock and you know took a couple hour nap and woke up and went up there and they were still closed. I'm like, um, okay. So I called Han and made sure you know that they were actually open. She was like, yeah, they should be there. She's so she called back and said, well, they should be there around six. I'm like, all right. So they changed their opening time and didn't say nothing. Did yeah. Anyone? So. 6.30, I think, is when they finally opened up. 6.30, 7 o'clock, yeah. We yeah. had a line. Um, Han is on a dead road. end. Yeah, Han's on a dead end off the highway. Both sides were full. Plus, they were backed out on the road. Yeah. It was crazy because everybody was expecting them to be there at 4, and they weren't. Yeah, and... So, it was a mess. Their drop yard is not that big at all. Very small. So, when you have all those trucks trying to get in and back up and drop their trailer, it did, it did not work. Well, it did. Oh. There was like five of us and we were like swinging and we, it was... It was, <laughs> it was a mess. Yeah, it was... I mean, we all stayed away from each other, but it was... It was tight. It was very tight, yeah. It was very well choreographed. It, if you would have seen it from the air, <laughs> it, it would have looked like it was choreographed because yeah, they, <laughs> we just... It was so perfect the yeah, way everybody I mean, swung in and everybody out. Everybody stayed in their own area. They did what they had to do. So, I mean, yeah. it, it was... It worked. It worked it was really just, well. It's just not big enough for that many trucks at once. No. No, we kind of had to wait a little bit for another guy to get back in and he was having some issues, but it, it's a small lot anyway to begin with. And then when you throw five trucks or six trucks on the lot on top of it, it, it can be a little intimidating getting back in, but we were lucky. We were the first ones in. Um, so everybody kind of had to work around us, so it wasn't as bad, but yeah. So that's what we've been doing since, uh, I don't even know when we recorded last, to be honest, but um, just know. mainly California runs is all we've been doing. Yeah, but we will try to get better and record more yeah, now we got everything done. Yeah, we'll try to yeah. do daily videos. I mean, yep. not guaranteed that. they're going to be every day, but we should do daily videos. Yeah. We've really been hitting the Arizona thing pretty hard, and so we just have been devoting all of our time to that. Well, all not of our free only time. that, it's like they were, a lot of people have been talking, saying that after all this stuff with the virus is done, People are moving out of the cities and they want to be out in the county, so we knew the price of land is going to skyrocket. 
the realtors said that. They said land out in Arizona is going to go through the roof after this is all done. So, once people start buying again. Yeah, so we wanted to get there and get it at the right Hot. price. And we just, got it at the right time, too. Yeah. Nobody's we, buying right now. Everybody's trying to hold on to their money because they're afraid of what's going to happen. Yeah. But the difference between them and us is that's what we were saving our money for. Yeah. That's, this wasn't our nest egg. This was completely separate. This was for the land. So yeah. it just worked out great for us. Yeah. As so a win. We got it. And hopefully within a year we can have it paid off and be down there and be moved and start building. and Get out of here. Get out of this truck. It's not against Hummer. Nothing against Hummer. I want out of this truck. I want to be home. I want to be home. I want to spend time with my grandkids, with our kids, with my dog. I, I want to be home. I yeah, want to be home. Yeah, because you don't know heartbreak until you leave and have your dog, <laughs> your dog look at your face and just have her face just drop. Like, she just knows you're leaving her She again. knew last night while we were getting ready, <laughs> getting stuff just, ready. She just knew we were leaving. and. She's been sad. with us. We took her to Arizona with us. Our dog went to Arizona with us. So she spent all that time with us, and she's been with us for two weeks. And last night, you could just see it in her face. <laughs> Everything just went good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was heartbroken. Yeah. And they won't let us bring her here because she's like six pounds over their weight limit. So <laughs> stupid, but it is what it is. So, yeah, we need to get out of the truck. We want. We don't need. We are going to get out of the truck when we get down there. So, we need to be home. Yeah. And then our son, daughter-in-law, and our two grandkids are also moving down there. So we've got the 40 acres, so we're gonna give them eight acres. Um, you need a minimum of four down there to build on. So we're gonna give them eight acres, and then we're gonna keep the other 32 acres for ourselves. <laughs> so they'll be living there also. So that's another reason we need to be out of the truck. Because they'll be there then, so we'll be able to spend more time with the kids, too. So, yeah. That's the plan. Yeah. That's the plan. And then so, we'll just do whatever we got to do when we get there for work. Yeah, so we just need to go, go, go for a year. Yeah. Get as much once, money as we can. Once we get down there, we're going to have the money to do what we need to do and not have to worry about working for a few months so we can get the house built and all that. Yeah. So we're not even going to work for the first probably two or three months when we get there. So... Save, save, save. Yeah. We're just trying to dump it all in savings right now. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. How long we drove you guys? 17. Probably 17 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? So, if anybody knows anybody hiring in the next year in the Benson, Wilcox, Douglas area. <laughs> St. David, St. David, Sunside, Sunzona area, yeah. Alfreda, McNeil, give yeah. us a call. <laughs> so yeah, so that's about it. Um, reload, we don't know yet. They'll probably either get us something to, before they leave tonight or in the morning. They still got a couple hours, so they'll either get us something tonight or uh, maybe even in the morning. Well, it'll be 3.30 Iowa time when we deliver down there, so I'm sure they'll find us something. Yeah, they should have something by then, so. If not, we'll just have to stay in Arizona. I know freight's kind of short right now, but these guys are doing really well. They're doing really good at uh, keeping people moving, and I don't know. It's, I'm sure it's affecting them, but if it is, they're not showing it. They yeah. seem to be able to keep everybody moving, so. Um, yeah, I, don't know. I don't think we're going to have an issue. You yeah. guys hear that wind? It's, it's probably been driving day. you nuts. I mean, it's literally pulling through the doors. It's we've got the windows up. It, it's crazy. Yeah. All Hasn't stopped. Long. Hasn't stopped all day. It's gonna get worse the further south we go. Yeah. I looked on the app. I got an app for my drone that shows the wind speeds, and down in Texas, it's red and orange. So it's gonna be crazy down through Texas again. Yay me. <laughs> so, yep. So that's about it for now. So, see you tomorrow. I guess we'll see you tomorrow when we get in some more scenic stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See ya. See ya. Got my coffee cup to go, and I'm gonna hit the road.